Hi Fatimites. I hope you and your family members are keeping fine. We the Fatima family, the school management and your teachers are trying our best to keep you close to your second home through activities related to your studies. So children, I would like to welcome you all to the amazing world of mathematics. children you know numbers are very important for us numbers are everywhere connected to everything we do so we are going to study about numbers chapter 1 numbers children we are going to learn the following key concepts numbers four digit numbers representing numbers on abacus successor and predecessor counting numbers in different ways let's start our first topic numbers what is number can you guess yes a number is a mathematical object used to count measure and label as you see in the diagram given here numbers are used to count the articles and also it is used to measure objects for example 1 kg of apples numbers are also used to label house vehicles and streets etc children our next topic is four digit numbers before starting four digit numbers let us recall your previous knowledge about place values you can see in the diagram given here the blocks for 110 that is 10 ones make 110 There are ten blocks of ones that make one block of ten. Similarly, ten tens make one hundred. That is, ten blocks of tens make one block of hundred. In the same way, ten hundreds make one thousand. So, it is very clear that. 10 hundreds we have 10 blocks of hundreds it makes one block of thousand children you already know largest three digit number is 999 and the smallest is 100 Thousand is the smallest four-digit number. As you see in the addition table here, on adding one to nine hundred ninety-nine, we get a four-digit number thousand. Four-digit numbers begin from thousand and continue up to nine thousand nine hundred ninety. Nine. So, the smallest four-digit number is thousand, and the largest four-digit number is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones make four-digit numbers. That means. In a four-digit number, there are four place values: ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now let's see some examples to frame the numbers using 
boxes fill in the boxes and write the numbers so made 1000s place we have one box 100s place we have two boxes and 10s we have four and ones we have three so the numbers formed by these boxes will be 1243 children now let's learn about representing numbers on abacus do you know abacus is a latin word derived from abax a greek word which means a calculating table the abacus is the most ancient calculating device known children let's learn how to read and find the numbers using abacus table some examples are given here read the abacus then write the numeral and number name in this abacus table we can see there are four beads in ones place five beads in tens place three beads in hundred place and two beads in thousands place so the numeral formed will be 2 3 5 4 and the number name is 2354 similarly in this second abacus table ones place we have only one bead tens place there are four beads hundred place two beads and thousands place there are five beads so the numeral formed will be 5241 and the number name is 5241 children welcome to your next topic successor and predecessor The successor of a number is the number just after it. We get the successor of a number by adding 1 to it. So let's see some examples how to find the successor of the following numbers. First we have 27. To get successor of 27, we need to add 1 to it. That is equal to 28. So successor of 27 is 28 same way in 384 the successor will be 385 and next we have 7241 so by adding 1 to this number we get 7242 this is the successor of 7241 children the predecessor of a number is the number just before it we get the predecessor of a number by subtracting 1 from it so you need to compare about successor and predecessor in successor we are adding one but in predecessor we need to subtract one from the given number so let's see some examples to understand it more clearly find the predecessor of the following numbers first 39 so to get predecessor of 39 we need to subtract one from 39 so 39 minus 1 is equal to 38 so predecessor of 39 is 38 similarly 630 630 minus 1 is equal to 629 
so the predecessor of 630 is 629 and this four digit number 4599 the predecessor will be 4598 it is obtained by subtracting 1 from the given number 4599 children we have come to the last topic of this session counting numbers in different ways children you should know counting is reading the numbers in a sequence so there are three ways of counting numbers first forward counting second backward counting and third skip counting Now let's discuss the first way of counting numbers that is forward counting. The normal sequence of counting is called forward counting. That means we count the numbers as it is starting from 1 then we will count 1 2 3 4 etc. If we start from 25 then it will continue forward counting as 25 26 27 28 etc so let's see some examples related to forward counting first 4999 this is a four digit number so we need to write the next three numbers by forward counting so the answer will be 5000 5001 and 5002 same way 7001 the forward counting will be 7002 7003 and 7004 children let's discuss about the second type of counting backward counting the reverse sequence of counting is called backward counting in this we are counting the numbers backward for example 5857 we need to write the next three numbers by counting backward so for that we need to subtract one from the given number so that it will be counted backward so answer is 5856 5855 and 5854 similarly we have another example here 3128 so we can get the backward counting numbers by subtracting one from the given number so answer will be 3127 3126 and 3125 you need to remember here that to get the backward counting numbers always subtract one from the given number as you get the first number again subtract one from the that number again continue the same procedure children let me take your attention to the last type of counting that is skip counting both forward and backward counting like counting forward by twos counting backward by threes counting forward by tens etc so in this type of counting you should know we skip the given allotted numbers accordingly forward or backward for example the question is asked for counting forward or backward related to the number specifically given that is counting in twos write the next three numbers 4784 so you need to count 2 by 2 or we can say add 2 to the given number so the answer will be 
4,786, 4,788, 4,790. Similarly, we have counting in fives. That means you need to skip counting by adding five. So, 8,134. The answer will be 8,139. 8144 and 8149 So children thank you for listening take care stay safe god bless you